If you have never had any doubt in your faith, well, you can stop watching this right now. But if you have had doubts before, and most of us have because we are human, we want instantaneous result. That's a reason places like McDonald's food chain are such a big success. The food's not as good as the mom and pop cafes, but it's instantaneous, and we have come to be addicted to instantaneous satisfaction in life. And we also want that from God. We want instant results to our prayers. Well, if you have had doubts in the past, if you've been plagued by doubt about your faith or about God, keep viewing this. Even some of the most faithful that I have ever known have been beset by bouts of discouragement and doubt. Even when you feel far removed from God, though, my friend, God is not far removed from you. God is always with you. God is with you right now. You're watching me, but you're watching me with God there with you. And God is touching you. You just simply have to say yes in your free will. Yes, I'm ready. You have to allow those doubts to diminish in the faith to come up. And when you do, you realize the truth that God is always with you. And more important, God is willing to give you wisdom and give you the help exactly as you need it, and willing to replace your doubt with comfort and with a divine assurance. When you take your doubts to God and say, God, I am doubting, help my unbelief, and you let God speak to your heart with a still small voice, and assurance, you'll find the next step beyond your doubts to a firmer foundation of faith. The strengthening of faith, my friend, comes from staying with it in your moments of trial. We should not shrink from tests of faith because it makes us stronger people. In James 1, verses 5 and 6, It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, they should ask God, who gives to all generously and without criticizing, and it will also be given to them. But let them ask in faith without doubting. For the doubter is like the surging sea driven and tossed by the wind. I pray that you have a doubt-free day this day. I pray that you have new faith in God. And I pray that you have a comfort and assurance in your times of trial.